it's Kristen and I have some throwback favorites for you. Typically I've done these on a Thursday and call it Throwback Thursday, but I don't want to lock myself into a day, so we're just going to call them Throwback Favorites. So in case you are new to this type of video, I do have a playlist and I'll list that below if you want to check out some more of them. What I do is I go back two years, I see what my favorites were for this month two years ago, and I don't do these every month, but I try to do them at least every other month. Sometimes life just gets away from me. But I take a look at what those favorites were, see if I'm still loving them, and then come back and tell you if I'm loving them still, or if there's some product that's replaced placed my love for that item. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first product on my list, I have my list before before me here in case you see me looking down a little bit, was the Pond's BB Cream. And I really liked that product. I liked it a whole lot. Um, I'm, they discontinued it and I'm really sad about it. I do have a product though that I like just as well, if not a little bit more. And that, you know what, I do like it more. Let's just, I like it more than that. I just I just wanted to say, I really did like, I don't know why they discontinued that Pons. It was really good. Um, and was a little bit less expensive than this, but I feel like this is totally worth the money. This is the second or third of these that I've been through. This is the Misha Perfect Cumber perfect cover um, and I'm in the shade number 21. I've worked through a shade 23 which was too dark for me. The 21 is perfect for me. It has an SPF of 42. I just I really like this and this is what I'm wearing today. I try to kind of wear some of the things if I can anyway um, that were my favorites back then if I still have them. So anyway that is what has replaced as my favorite BB cream in my collection. So the next two things were concealers. One was the Rimmel Match Perfection Concealer and I have to tell you as I used that I didn't like it as much as I did originally. So that one I used up and I would not repurchase. It definitely has been replaced by my MAC Pro Longwear. I feel like I even liked this back then. I feel I feel like I've liked this for longer than two years but I, I don't know. I guess we'll have to see what it pops up first in a favorites but I just really like this. It works so well. It's a nice, I just was talking about this to somebody yesterday. It's a nice kind of thin consistency, but offers a really good amount of coverage and doesn't make your under eyes look cakey. And it seems to work both for dry under eyes and kind of like normal. I don't know anybody that has oily under eyes. If you have oily under eyes, I would love to know. Just because something creases on you though, doesn't mean you have oily under eyes. But at any rate, <laughs> that was random. Uh, if you have like I said, I think any kind of under eye, this would work with. I really like it. I know the pump's kind of hard to deal with, but I deal with it for the product. And the other thing in there that was one of my favorites, this was kind of like a favorite face I was talking about. I was enjoying how all of these products sort of worked together. Um, the other thing on there was the, I mean, seriously, you guys. <laughs> oh, this concealer. I've been trying to use it up for so long. This is the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. It is not creaseless under your eyes, but I use this for blemishes on my face. And it just, it's like the never ending concealer. It's still good. It hasn't separated. So there's that, but there's not even any writing on it anymore. I don't know. At any rate, I'm still trying to work through this and I still use it in the same way for blemishes on my face. It stays put, doesn't budge, and I, I really do like it. So just cracks me up. It's like never ending. And then the last thing, and you guys have heard me for years talk about this part, this is the It Bye Bye Redness. One thing I want to say about this is that there used to be just this shade. Well, now there are three shade options. So I'll link something below for you where you can go and find, you know, kind of see what the other shades look like. But in case you are new to this product, let me take the top off here. This is the third one that I've worked through. It's a very kind of pudding consistency, but I just want to show you how much just the littlest bit. I'm going to just put a little tiny dot there on my hand. You can see I had swatches on my hand, but how much this, let me try not to flip you off, <laughs> how much that will cover and how well it covers. Hopefully you guys can see. I'm not, it's hard for me to see into my lights there, um, but anyway. Ugh, it just works so, so well. If you have any kind of redness, even discoloration on your face that's not red, I find that this works perfectly stays put. I really like it with the little brush that you can get from QVC, but on its own. Today I didn't use it with the brush. I used it with my, I'm trying to find it, my e.l.f. concealer brush. Yeah, the e.l.f. concealer brush. It works perfectly fine with that as well. So I really, I still use that. So anyway, I do, I love the, I love the Bye Bye Redness. I, sw I swear by this, definitely a holy grail product. And then lastly is this product. This is funny, not funny, haha, funny, ironic, that I have pulled this out and this is the product that I'm currently using up. You guys know I'm always working through something. And this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Mineral Rich Loose Powder Makeup. 
Intensity 1.0. They've discontinued this, which is just so sad because it has such a nice finish and adds a little bit of coverage and just, it's just delightful. And this, I had just discovered it when they discontinued it because I talked about it in that video. I'm pointing to this, like you can see the paper that has the, has my notes for my video on it. But so, so great, so nice. I just, I, like I said, I've pulled it out to work through because you can't get it anymore and I want to, you know, I want to work through it so that it doesn't go to waste because I love it so much. All right, the next product is a product I've been using a ton lately as well, and it's the Hourglass in Dim Light. Now, at the time, I was using this to set my under eye and to kind of um, what I'm doing with it now, even out the lines in between like bronzer and blush and that sort of thing. So I will tell, obviously you guys know, if you've watched me for any length of time, I don't set my under eyes with that. I use the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Powder to set my under eyes and love this. It's absolutely amazing. And what I, but I still use dim light. And I'm not sure if you can tell, I've just about hit pan on that. I think anyway, it's hard to really tell. But I use this as one of my very last steps. And I will take a big brush like this or the brushes that I talked about in that video were the Sephora 79 brush or the Goss number two brush. Either one of those works just as well. And you just kind of, I'll just kind of go into the powder like this. I'm gonna look in my mirror here and just go right in between the lines, like where my blush would meet my non-blush part of my face, and here, maybe a little bit up here, and then I'll take a little bit here and here. And I just use it like a finishing powder like that. And when you do it here, it just diffuses the lines. You just don't have any harsh lines. One of my favorite products, I love that, love it. Uh, okay, so those, again, the next things on my list were these two brushes. They are very similar. If you have the Goss number two brush, pull that one out. Um, this is the number 79 from Sephora. There is one from Sigma. I think I want to say it's the something 75, F75, F45. I don't know. I'll link below. <laughs> All right. And then the last thing that I had on here, and it's funny because I don't know what I was, what I was using it for in this particular time. I watched the video back, but I don't remember me talking about this. And this is the Eco Tool fan, Eco Tools fan brush. I don't know if I was maybe talking about using it with this because I did, I guess I did used to do that. Like, you know, the brush that came with these powders kind of had this similar sort of look to it. And so I think I was probably doing that and, you know, that sort of thing. I don't do that anymore though. So there you go. I really like this brush. This is the brush I use most with it. This is the um, Royal and Lang Nickel. Pr no, that's, yeah, Royal and Lang Nickel. Royal and Lang Nickel. Moda Pro, and this is the BMX 130. I swear that sounds like a bike or something. Anyway, this brush you guys know I like for highlight. That's still my favorite highlighting brush. All right. I feel like I'm kind of all over the place today. I mean, you know what? I'm excited to film one of these because it's been a few months since I filmed one of these and I, they're just some of my favorites to film. So next is the NARS Love Joy Blush and I did put this on today. I, I totally forgot about this. I used to have probably 10 NARS blushes. When I cleaned out my blushes, I went down to three. I kept Luster, Orgasm, and then Love Joy. And this is really pretty. But I have to say, and maybe it's just because it's a little bit older. I'm just trying to see as I put it on my hand here. Um, again, you can see it on my cheeks. I've just built it up a little bit on my hand so you can see there. It's a very pretty, great for fall into winter shade. Um, it just doesn't blend as well as some of my other blushes. I intend to do here a, at some point when I get a break, it might not be until between Christmas and New Year's, but um, I'm gonna do a major makeup clean out and things like, I love the color, but it doesn't blend very easily in my skin. It's gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna be like brutal, like cutthroat, cut some things down and um, anyway, not the point of video. All right, moving on. You guys are like, really, Kristen? I just had to pause because I said, I talked about two highlighters and then I looked at my list and I was like, neither one of those highlighters is the one that I use today. <laughs> I don't know why, I thought for some reason the, the one I use today is Becca Moonstone. I'll link it below for you, but I just, I just love it. It's just pretty, but not either one of the ones that I, Sometimes this just happens. So the one that I want, I still have both of these in my collection. I, and I have done a really, a pretty hardcore highlighter clean out. So both of these made the cut. And this is the Hello Light Illuminating Powder by It Cosmetics. I think I got this in a kit maybe way back when. I'm gonna try to put this on my hand pretty heavy so you can see there. 
Oh, it's so pretty. I'm, I so, I'm so sorry. I wish I had put it on here. It was a really nice combination with that NARS Lovejoy. All right, just because I was curious, I put it next to each other. So this is Moonstone, and then this is the Cosmetics Hello Light. And let me set these here. It's Moonstone and Hello Light. So they're kind of similar. And then the other one that I mentioned was the Mary Luminizer. <laughs> I wonder how many times this has made it into my favorites. Like... Far too many, probably. <laughs> I still, I do really like those. I, I clearly like highlights that kind of have this sort of leaning just a little bit champagne sort of shade to them. It's it, They definitely are my favorites. All right, let's talk about some lip products. The one that I'm wearing today, and I've worn, I've loved this for a really long time. There's hardly any left in this. This is the Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy in Intense Nude. I'll give you a little swatch right here. I, it's just one of the most perfect shades on my lips. What's funny is that I haven't worn this because I'm afraid it's gonna run out, but I could just buy a full size. I, <laughs> I don't know, but I love Intense Nude. I, I know I turned a lot of you guys onto it and um, a lot of my friends really enjoy it as well. So anyway, um, still love that. And I love the formula. That Pure Color Envy formula is so nice. I think I have eight or nine shades now in the range and just really, really, really enjoy it. So then I talked about the Bite Beauty kit that came out in the t at the time. And one of the shades that was permanent was Aubergine. And there was a twist up and they were matte. I do really, I did really like those, but I don't buy Bite Beauty lip products anymore. They are good for six months and they really are a product that after six months you can tell they are no longer good anymore. And with what I do, with the products that I try, with that sort of thing, it just doesn't make sense for me to buy Bite Beauty products. I love them. I think they are great. And if you don't have the kind of size collection that I do, you might really enjoy it. Especially, I used to always buy the kits that came out for Christmas. And I just am not letting myself do that anymore because I just feel like it's wasteful. So I love their products. I think they're good. I have purchased them for other people that don't have the collection. Just last year I bought the kit for a friend of mine at work. Uh, again, I think they're great. I just feel like they don't make sense for me to purchase anymore. So there's that. Uh, okay, so I talked about the Chanel Rouge Double Intense, no, Chanel, yeah, Rouge Double Intense Ultra Lip Color, which is what these are called. The shade that I showed is in Deep Rose, which I do still have, and now it makes me a slight bit concerned because this was two months ago, And but I love this shade. So I do kind of probably need to figure out what I'm going to do. Since then, though, I had this one for a long time before I purchased any of these. I purchased Light Rose, Darling Pink and Mary Rose. The, those are the three shades. Light Rose is by far my favorite. It goes with everything. Still love it. It's just great, particularly for work. If I have a day full of a bunch of appointments, I can put that on in the morning and not worry about it the rest of the day. It's the longest wearing, most comfortable, doesn't make your lips look old, liquid lipstick out there, in my opinion. All right. I mentioned the Sleek Ooh La La Liner in Noir. I did really like that. I used that up. Um, to order from Sleek, it's like $10 for shipping, so I didn't reorder it. But I just want to give a mention, I've mentioned this a few times now, but this is the Rimmel Extreme Lasting Eye Pencil Waterproof 16 Hour. This is the one in Black Love. This works so well. Very inexpensive. Really, really happy with this. So take a look at this one. I, that's the one I would say now that I use versus the Sleek. A couple of eyeshadows, and I just Googled this before I started it to see if you could get this. You can get this still on HSN. That was the only place I could find it quickly, but I will, if I can find it any place else, I will list it. So this is the Lorac Pro Metals, and I had done a four looks, two palettes with this and then the matte version of this. I still really like these. I, I just think that Lorac has some great sheen. You know, sheen, they have great, their shadows are great all all in all, but I just think some of these are, are stunning. This cobalt, I remember really using that. I haven't used that in a long time, but I used the rose gold. Here's the amber. I'll just give you kind of swatches of them. So pretty. So there's the cobalt and let's see the rose gold, I think it's in the middle, and then the amber. I just, they're so, 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 so nice. Um, and a very affordable palette. I feel like it's $28 or something like that. So I'll see what I can find and link it below. But still, I would still absolutely recommend that. I didn't know it was still available, so that's awesome. And then lastly, something that's not available anymore, which is kind of is a bummer. This is the, not the Sephora, the Smashbox 
Masterclass Palette 3. And I used this today for my eye look. You can probably tell by the but how it looks here, that I have used this a bunch. I've definitely used this side more than I have used this side, but they don't make this anymore. But I will tell you this, as long as you get, I'm gonna lift this up so that you guys can kind of see what the shades were in there. One of the reasons I liked this is because they were all powder products. There's no, um, and I actually think this was a gift that was sent to me, but the reason I kept it and you know still use it to this day, I will travel with this. It's a little bit heavy, but it's pretty solid. Like you're, I, I, I don't, I'm never concerned about something happen, happening to it, um, but I don't, road trips, I, t I tend to take this on, not on the plane because it's pretty, <laughs> it's pretty heavy. So what I was gonna say is this is the photo op, um, the eyeshadow formula. I, you you cannot go wrong with that photo op formula. I just looked quickly on Sephora to make sure that I was right that this isn't around anymore, and it isn't. But again, that photo op formula comes in a bunch of different things. There's lots of kits that come out with it. I don't know if they are, they were carrying both kinds, the photo op and another kind for a really long time. Anyway, my point is, f with a photo op, you can't go wrong. I'll see what I can find for some different sort of Smashback palettes or kits currently available, and I'll list below for you guys in case you wanna check those out. And then two hair thing, no, one hair thing and one brush thing. So I would talked about the When Replenishing Treatment Mist, and I did really like that. It was a product where, uh, like on a second or a third day, you could get up, kind of spray it into your hair, and like rejuvenate your curls. Um, so I do still like that, but since then, I've been using the, not since then. I don't, I think I finished that up. I don't know. I don't remember exactly when I finished it up. But then I didn't have anything for a while like, with that sort of product. And now I'm using the Caviar Style Waves. It's a texture sea salt spray, but I don't feel like I get that sort of gritty sort of texture feel with this product. And it does the same sort of thing. So I just make sure that I, if my hair is dry, I hold it out, you know, hold my, hold it out and I kind of hold my hair out a little bit and just spray it and just kind of scrunch it and you just kind of give some life back to your hair. So this is the product that I currently use and not the one anymore. I, I liked the one, I just never repurchased it. And lastly, I had the Benjabel Organic Brush Shampoo. I still use this. This is the one I'm currently working through. I need to clearly order another one. Um, I usually order them two at a time. You can get them right from Benj Benjabel. You can get them on Amazon, Prime Shipping. This is the best brush cleanser I've ever used. Now, I don't know that I've ever used the um, Beauty Blender one that people like so well, but this works well for me for my makeup sponges, for my like my flat top kabukis that are really hard to get clean. Um, I just love this. It's got all organic things in it. It's all good stuff. I really like this. If, so if you're looking for something, check this out. I think you would really, you'd be pleased with it. The last couple of things were um, the winter celebration K-Cups that you can get this time of year. I've not seen that kit come out. I can see a little fuzzy flying through here, sorry. I've not seen that kit come out, but when it does, it usually has um, eggnog, gingerbread, and golden French toast. I haven't seen it. And then um, the last thing that I talked about was the International Delight Cinnabon Creamer, which I do still like, but currently I am all about this other one. I can't remember the name of it right now, but I'm hoping I'm going to do like a current favorites video here and I'll talk about it in that favorite. So, all right, on that note, I think that's everything. I've told you everything that I'm wearing on my face today. Um, I just thought I would tell you quickly what shades of this I'm wearing. So I have Topaz which is the shade right here, all over my eyes. I have um, Royal, which is this beautiful eggplant shade here, in my crease, and I blended everything out with Pebble right here. And then beneath my lower lash line, I used an Estee Lauder, I think it's called Evergreen, no, Forest, liner in Forest. And then I went over it with this shade right here, which is Serpent. Just add a little green with that eggplant, just something different. And I think that's everything. So, <laughs> all right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this throwback. I will see you in the next one. And in everything that you do, be beautiful. Bye.